Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 career mode, Rasta Villa, where we're, we're aiming to get Villa back into the Premier League and then uh, obviously we'll go from there, maybe even win a Champions League, win the Premier League, never know, but obviously that will be in a few seasons time. Um, first things first, I just want to say thank you for the massive support on the first episode. Um, it's probably, well, no it's not my most viewed, but it's I've got to 50 views in like the quickest time. Around about 50 views anyway, um, and they're still going up and up, so people are watching it, so it's good. Um, so just thank you for that, and hopefully that can happen again in this episode. That's why I'm bringing this before my Road to Glory, because this one got more support basically. Um, what I'm going to do is like alternate episodes, so every other day um, it'll be career mode, every other day it'll be Road to Glory. And then uh, I might try and add in my journey and some pro clubs as well. Um, uh, also, just want to say this is still recorded on EA Access, so I I was running out of time, hence why it's pre-recorded. Uh, only got 10 hours, so pre-recorded it, hence why I'm talking over it in commentary style. Uh, but future episodes from now, next episode will 100% be live. Uh, I'll be playing my games live whilst I'm talking. Uh, you know, like a, like most people doing their career modes, I think. Uh, but that's how I'm gonna do my career mode anyway. Um, I think it would be a lot better. It'd be easy for me, and it'll make better content because uh, I'm not very experienced at this yet so when I talk over things like this now uh, give it you know three minutes and I'll, I'll run out of things to say um, but that's that's the plan and uh, as you can see in this video we're just putting some some bids in for some players um, I think the board said they want to get a midfielder in which I think we do this episode it might be a right mid maybe but I also want to get um, a solid center mid uh, like a CDM type player because we've got Yednak who's he's getting old, he's quite slow. We've got Westwood, he's a good passer but he's weak. So I want a solid CDM who will help out at the back. Uh, don't worry about attacking, help out at the back. And I think that is one of the board expectations to get a, a, um, a crucial, I think it's a crucial player centre mid? No, crucial player midfielder, something like that anyway. Um, and hopefully that should like increase shirt sales and stuff like that, brand exposure, so it's all going into one. Um, in this episode you'll see I I did quite bad in one of the games, you'll see that later on. Um, it didn't go well, uh, I was going to bump up to Legendary, but <laughs> after that game I'm not. Uh, I'm having to change the way I play, so uh, I'm gonna ch next episode I'll change formation, um, I'm gonna change some of the players around, see how they play. And then if they don't play well, then I'll have to make some more signings. Which I want people who watch this to comment down below what type of signings they want. Um, what I need, I think, is... I think I signed a sentiment in this episode, but I still might need another one. So maybe a cam, maybe a CDM, uh, and maybe one pacey striker. And maybe, <laughs> I keep saying maybe, maybe a centre-back as well. Um, but they have to be realistic. I'm not going to go and sign Ronaldo for Villa. <laughs> so... Uh, realistic signings, comment them down below if you have any suggestions. I don't want just loads of youngsters which have high potential, that just bores me. I want it to be realistic. Like, the player can be 27 years old, I don't care. Um, it has to be realistic, uh, they have to be like leaders and stuff like that. So, good players, look on, you know, Foothead or whatever it is, so FIFA. Um, they give you good, good ratings and, you know, uh, players to find, scout, whatever. Um, Put them in the comments down below and I'll have a look and I'll try and make like a short list in the episode after uh, of players that you've chosen and I'll scout them, put inquiries for them, bid for them and you know, do that good stuff. Um, anyway, this is our first game of the season which you're watching probably now uh, if I've timed this right. Uh, against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, I think we, I think we may have drew. I think we drew this game which is quite a hard game. Uh, we had plenty of chances, they had plenty of chances. Um, but it's good not to lose the first game, I guess, because you don't want to get off to a losing start. Um, but the team, the team, <laughs> the team didn't play that well. Formation's a bit weird. I didn't have the wide players that I wanted. Everyone's too narrow. So um, when I record live, that's what I'm about. I'm going to change formation so it's like wider, and I'm going to have like a main man up front who I want to whip the ball into. Uh, hopefully, he can score loads of goals, which I'm thinking is going to be really just dead at the moment. Just to fire us back into the Premier League, anyway. Um, uh, some of the objectives that the ball have given us, 
are things like uh, so critical is to get back into the Premier League. Uh, that's obviously critical. Uh, finished. I think they want us to win the league title, but as long as we get top two, uh, even the playoffs, as long as we win the playoffs, then that'd be good. So that's the league objective. I think they want us to. What was number two? There was a. We had a critical and a high, and I think the high. What was it now? May have been brand exposure. So to make something like 10 million in the shirt sales, which I think is really easy to do. I've been watching a few career modes, and you know, after like three games, they're like a third of the way there already. So uh, hopefully it's that easy for us as well. I think we have to try and like double our club worth or whatever, which we've been given like two seasons to do. So hopefully we can do it. And I think another one is to sign two youth players and sell them on for like five million profit, which I guess can be achievable. But I don't really want to sell if my youth players are worth two point five million. They've got something about them, so I don't really want to sell them. So we'll see. But if we have to, then we have to to keep the the board happy. Um, anyway, see, I'm running out of things to say now. Uh, next episode is 100% going to be um, live. So look forward to them. It'd be much better than this, like because all I'm gonna do now is play music over the game, which is n quite naughty of me. It's lazy, but there's nothing else I can talk about really for the next ten minutes. So um, thanks so much for the support in the first episode. Please leave a like in this video as well. Subscribe if you're new. Um, there's plenty of FIFA on my channel every other day. Hopefully, um, I'll be uploading FIFA. So like, comment, subscribe. Next video live, um, and enjoy the music of the gameplay. Um, it's just all pretty much transfers. Um, I think we do sign a player or two, actually. So yeah, that's in this episode. So keep watching, find out, and I'll see you in the next episode.
possession as those stats show, but they're trailing. Just going to be a bit more decisive. Take a chance once or twice.